Squizzy was born in Brighton, Australia. She grew up on a small farm in a shithole continent where people that nobody liked were sent in shipping containers to keep all of them in a special spot so the world would be spared of the burden of running into Australians. For the first 20 years of her life, she grew up with a rare disorder where she didn't know how to put her tongue back in her fucking mouth every time she took a picture of herself. As she began to age and become less of a moron, she learned how to overcome this disorder and began to upload animations on her YouTube channel. The videos were top tier animations of two different types, pop culture references and more pop culture references depending on what was popular at the time. As she grew her channel size, she realized she needed to spice up her life and got involved in multiple different controversies because she was trying to fill out a resume of being a scumbag, dumb little bitch. There is the Slaza situation where a YouTuber who reminds me of a character from The Office that doesn't exist was falsely accused of being a rapist and then it turned out his crazy psycho bitch of an ex-girlfriend made it up and then good old dumb little bitch Squizzy didn't apologize for it which you think would be the first thing you'd want to do if you accuse someone wrongly and you just realize oh shit I just listened to some lie that some dumb little pup gave me. She was accused of abusing a dog, and it turns out that was a little bit exaggerated, so that doesn't really count. Also, something about mocking the death of a cat, I don't even know if that's true or not, so I'm not even going to say much about it. Then there was the situation where a fan sweetly asked her if she appreciated the efforts of providing aid and food to starving African villages, and this was her response. I would just like to say ahead of time, this is exactly why we don't allow Australians to speak in public. Now, normally when people ask you a simple question or interact with you, it's not normal to go on a heavy racist rant, even for Australians, and believe me, the opinion on Australians is widely known to be low. Then there's this famous controversy where she was drawing not safe for work art of real life YouTubers, which is already a red flag that you're a fucking weirdo, but then it got even worse because she was accused of drawing art of an underage person when she was 16 at the time and Squizzy was 18. Honestly, I think it's more of her being a fucking idiot than a predator given that there was only a two year age difference, but come on, you can't be stupid enough to draw someone you actually know and who is underage and post it online, right? I can't verify if this is real or not because I wasn't there and the posts of this are all deleted and hidden in the shadowy depths of the internet, but fuck it man, it's worth bringing up. And who could forget the most recent thing she did slapping her boyfriend around. While she wasn't making shitty pop culture animations on YouTube, she was abusing her boyfriend and just beating him up every now and then. And she finally got caught slacking by none other than the man himself, my boy Punk Duck. He showed the various logs like these gems. Punk Duck's over here saying, that doesn't give you the right to hit me and he's not going to stand there and take it. And Squizzy, as creative as she is, says, don't talk about physical abuse until your parents throw you down the stairs or threaten you with a kitchen knife, as if that immediately excuses everything you could possibly do. This entire text is basically a Squizzy trying to guilt trip the fuck out of Punk Duck and make him feel bad for her. And there's also this damning text, I'm a whole foot shorter than you, fucking do something about it. And finally, after she was yelled at by her fans enough, she came up with an apology, saying she was going to go through therapy and go to dumb bitch camp to fix herself. Hopefully that goes well because I know damn well no one is going to believe her. If you want to learn more about how psychotic she is, why don't you watch my other video about her? And also subscribe so I can teach you how to lift weights and not be a total pussy.